Good evening, good evening, Mr. Orellana. Good Mr. evening. Good evening, Mr. Arias Pereira. Hello. Good welcome. evening, teacher. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Saul, welcome, Saul. Glenda, always punctual. Nice. I like that. Right? Claudia, hey. Welcome, Miss Orellana Orantes. It's a pleasure. Okay, let's begin right now. Teacher. Yes, tell me. ¿Y el examen hay que hacerlo junto o individual? No, 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 no necessarily. No necessarily. You can do it by yourself, but we can do it in class. No problem. Tomorrow. For example, eh, Ana Maria, Claudia, Dagoberto, eh, Griselda, Josué, eh, Mar Marcela, Ernesto, Saúl, and Yancy, they finish everything, right? They are... Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they finish. But we can make it tomorrow, no problem, together in class, right? It, it's, it's easy. It's very easy. It's not complicated. It's not complicated. It's easy, right? Okay, now let's start with the presentation, right? Today is Thursday. Thursday, right? Uh, November 23rd. Almost Christmas. Almost Christmas, right? We wish you a Merry Christmas. So almost. And today we're going to continue talking about preposition of place and adjective, right? This is the topic for today. Jorge, please read the objective. De describe. Mm -hmm. Describe how uh, my and others working place and areas yeah. look like. Okay, so in this case, we're going to describe, make a description of the places. Is uh, nice or is ugly? Is good or is bad? Is clean or is dirty? What is the uh, what is the description? The description of the place or, or the company where you were, right? Now. Uh, last class we were learning about there is there are right today again we continue with there is there are but we are going to work with some adjectives look here for example it says comfortable huge huge nice Illuminated. Okay, those are adjectives. Adjectives. Also, here, look, we have other adjectives. Narrow. Small. Disgusting. Disgusting. And, and finally, smelly, right? Smelly. I don't listen ah, to the teacher. Eh, Odmar, hello, hello. Okay, wait, teacher, wait no, lo, no lo escuchaba. Oh, and now, Marlon? Ahora sí. Okay, good, Excellent. good. Excellent. I, I saw Odmar. Me pareció ver a Odmar también. No, no, no. Hello, Odmar? No. No, okay, good. It was you, right, Marlon? Okay, good. No problem. Let's continue, right? Okay, class. Here we have some positive adjectives. Positive adjectives. Good, good, right, good. Comfortable, huge, nice, illuminated. Those are positive adjectives. Uh, 
other possible adjective beautiful excellent uh mm, let's say for example cool those could be some positive adjectives then here we have some negative narrow you know estrecho narrow small disgusting smelly oof smelly right smelly Okay, now, after the adjectives, please pay attention. And notice that we have some nouns. Rooms is a noun. Parking lot is a noun. Places is a noun. Training room is a noun. Reception area is a noun. Offices is a noun kitchen area is a noun and living room okay what does it mean it means that we have adjectives and nouns adjectives and nouns i i don't know if you remember uh, the if you remember the possessive adjectives we will say my book Your house, her cat, house, his, uh, his pencil, their classroom. Okay, do you remember the possessive adjectives? Mine, your, her. So, after every possessive adjective, we have a noun. Look, book, house, meow, pencil, classroom. Those are nouns, right? Those are nouns. So, for that reason, the same happened here. Look, comfortable rooms, huge parking lot, nice place, etc., etc. So, in other words, we have the adjective plus noun, right? Adjective plus noun. Okay? And besides that, además de eso, right, besides that, we have the use of there is, there are, right? There are, why? Because rooms, there is, parking lot, There are, because it's places, right? There is one training room. Uh, there is reception area. There are offices. There is kitchen. There is living room, no? Singular, there is plural, there are, right? In negative, there isn't, there aren't, or there is no, or there are no. And in questions, is there, are there, right? We have the formula here, right? Okay, good. Now, listen. This, there are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. Okay, class, please listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. There are comfortable rooms. Comfortable. There is a huge parking lot. Huge. There are nice places to rest. Nice places. There is an illuminated training room. Mm. 
illuminated. There is a narrow reception area. Reception area. Narrow. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. Disgusting. There is a smelly living room. Smelly. Okay, let's read, right? Positive adjectives, please, Marlon. Read the positive adjectives, please, Marlon, for the class. Okay, thank you. Uh, positive adjectives. There are comfortable rooms. There is good parking lot. Huge, huge. Huge, okay. Again, there is huge parking lot. There is a nice place to rest. There are? Uh, oh, see. Sí. There are nice place to rest. There is a illum illuminating training room. Okay, thank Teacher, you. I have a question. Tell me. You, you parking lot, what is the meaning of this? Uh, huge, huge is big, oh, big. Oh. Is the opposite of small. Look, small, big. So big is uh, a synonym of huge. Synonym the, of big. Uh -huh. For example, Australia. Australia is a huge country. It's a huge country. Himalaya. O sea que la traducción es un parqueo amplio. Grandote, gigante. Uh -huh. Ah. Gigantic, huge. En este caso, big. lot. In this case, lot. Uh, lot is lote, o, o, o espacio, o parque. Ah, ¿no? Parking lot. Okay, eh, thank you. Means, in Spanish, lote para parquearse, o espacio para parquearse, ¿no? Parking lot. Uh -huh. And it says thank big, you. it's huge, right? Okay, good. Now, Christian, please, can you read the negative adjectives, please? Chris? <laughs> okay, Jorge, can you help me, please? Negative adjectives, read. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgust, disgust Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Thanks. Disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. Okay, okay. Thank you. Very good. Right. The a smelly or a smile? No, smelly. A smelly. E smell. This from this. smell, right? A smell. smell. Oler, and ol a smelly is apestoso, maloliente, right? Okay, good. Now, any question? Good, give me a second. I will read the messages. Let me see. Uh, uh, Chris, ah, Chris, only listen, right, Chris? Why, Chris, come on. You can participate, come on, boy. Okay, Chris is a listener tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says, uh, Saul, teacher, tonight I will give semita to everybody. Uh, no, Saul. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it says he's in his work, Saul. Okay, Saul. Saul is working. Come on. Don't work too much. No trabajen mucho. Otmar, buenas noches, teacher. Uh, esta noche estaré de oyente. Okay. Desde el teléfono. Okay, good. Nos hace falta, Omar. Espero que mañana pueda estar con nosotros. Ok. Now, uh, Claudia, es el profe, ya casi llego. Ok, good. 
Claudia, ¿cómo es que ya casi estoy de oyente? <ríe> ah, ya sé, ya entendí. Es ya casi llego, coma, estoy de oyente en este momento. Ah, ok, good, sorry. Good. And finally, Ana María. Uh, oh, sorry. Bueno, que se recupere pronto, Ana María. Okay, good. Now let's continue, right? Good. Now, the definition of adjectives. Okay, pay attention. What is an adjective? What is an adjective? Well, an adjective is a word that describe description, you know, or modify other words. Example. The word comfortable modifies the word room. You can say, there are rooms. Okay, there are rooms. But what is the problem? Aha, uh -huh. but when I say comfortable rooms, ah, modification of the room, right? Those are special rooms. Those are comfortable, right? Other example, uh, if I say disgusting kitchen, I can say there is a kitchen. Okay, yes, a kitchen, right? In my house, I have a kitchen. I am a chef and I use the, the kitchen. But that's okay. But when I say disgusting, I am modifying, I am changing the word kitchen, you know? It's not a common kitchen. It's a disgusting kitchen, right? It's not a good kitchen. You see? So an adjective is a word that modifies or describes or tell me the characteristics of the noun, right? Understand? Good. Example of these are small, blue, big, right? Those are example of, excuse me, of adjective, right? And they are descriptive adjectives. The adjectives are usually positioned before the noun. That's what I was saying, right? Notice before the noun. When I say comfortable is the adjective, and room is the noun, right? Uh, one example of this in Spanish, I will show you, is when you say uh, el carro rojo, right? El carro rojo, it's okay. In Spanish, it's okay, right? But when I say the red car, notice that red is the adjective and car is the noun, right? So it's the opposite of Spanish. So in English, we say el rojo carro. El rojo carro, you know. <laughs> it's true. But in, in, in Spanish, first the noun and then the adjective, right? Okay. Good. Another characteristic. Another characteristic of the, of the adjective, right, are that we can have multiple adjectives. For example, I can say... Um, let me see. I can say, for example, the red, nice, and comfortable car. Notice that I can use one, two, three adjectives. Three adjectives. Is possible that? Yes, it's possible, right? It's possible. Yes. Sorry, teacher. Tell uh, me, Mario. Hello, welcome. Foiled. Sorry? The internet network foiled, teacher. I'm oh, sorry. excuse me. Yeah. Internet is always a problem, Mario. But I understand. I understand. No problem. Yes. But the one that comes late uh, gives the coffee to everybody, right? Obligation, Mario. Obligation. Ah, no. In your case, tea. Tea. I don't ask Jorge because Jorge offers other other category of drinks. Green tea, the Jorge. Uh, no, but Jorge says no. Shh, don't say don't ask Jorge. Right? No le preguntemos a Jorge porque le ofrece otro otras bebidas. Ya yeah, son bebidas fuertes. <laughs> no Jorge, no, Shh, no tea or water, Jorge. Please. Tomorrow is carnival. No, it's no, no. Party. 
in San Miguel. No, Saturday, Saturday. In San ah, Miguel. Sí, Saturday, Saturday. 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 Yes. That's right. We But, have classes, George. Yes, yeah, we have classes tomorrow, George. Please. <laughs> okay, let's continue, right? Now, more characteristics of the adjectives. I will explain. Oh, oh, okay, but do you have questions? Do you have questions? Ah, excuse me, Jorge. No, 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 no. Please. I listen, Mario. Mario, I please pay attention to Mario. Mario says green tea, and the teacher says semita and coffee. Please, only that, and water only, no more. <laughs> okay, now, any question about what is an adjective? Questions? No, okay. No Let's questions. Continue. Thank you. Now, here we have the categories of the adjective, right? Oh, give me a second. Uh, Marcela says, teacher, estoy de oyente. Oh, sorry, Marcela. Sigue malita de la tos, Marcela, right? Si se le oye en la voz. Ayer intentó, pero no pudo. Okay, so sorry. Ok, uh, y luego tenemos Claudia, dice, teacher dice Mario, uh -huh, que lo sacó de Zoom, pero bueno, ya me explico aquí, no hay problema, Claudia, ya tenemos a Mario aquí presente. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, ok, thank you, Claudia. Thanks, Clau. Thanks, yeah, she's attentive, right? She's attentive. Ok, so Marcela, listener. Okie dokie, let's continue. Okay, here we have some categories, categories of adjectives, look. Category number one, descriptive. Descriptive is when you describe uh, the noun. Uh, long, red, strong, rainy, big, salty. Long, red, strong, rainy, big, and salty, right? Th those are the scripted adjectives, right? Do you understand? You know what is salty? Do you know what is salty? Hello, rainy? teacher. Sorry? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, that's it, right? Salty. Good. Now, uh, proper proper adjective, Salvadorian food, you know, eh, nuegados, chilate, yuca, frita, yes, eh, poleada. <laughs> yeah. Include, please, panes mataniños. What is proper? Proper, propio. Propio. For example, uh -huh. Jorge, Jorge is a proper noun. Okay. Right? Marcela is a proper noun. Josué is a proper noun, right? Yancy is a proper noun. Eh, El Salvador is a proper noun. And then when you say Salvadorian, Guatemalan, Mexican, you know, food, so it's a proper adjective. Mexican people, right? Mexican people, for example, right? Ivan Barton loves Mexican people, right? Ivan Barton ama a las personas mexicanas, you know? Okay, for example, Mexican people, Mexican. <laughs> okay, los que saben de fútbol saben de qué estoy hablando, ¿verdad? Okay, articles, articles. Ah, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, right, Marlon. <laughs> Ivan Barton loves Mexican football. <laughs> okay. Now, articles. Ah, no, hondureño, hondureño. Yeah, I know. <laughs> articles, right? A, da, and an. Those are articles. Uno, al, uno una, right? So you, those are articles. And numbers. All the numbers are adjectives. So the adjectives are infinite, right? Infinite. Two, four, seven, ten, one hundred, one million. Those are adjectives. Demonstratives. These, estos, right? O estas, that, esa, o eso. 
This, esto o esta. Those, esos o esa, right? Mm -hmm. Those are demonstrative, those are adjectives, right? And the possessive, I told you, remember? My, your, his, her, their, our, its. Those are adjectives. Mm -hmm. Okay, questions? Questions? No questions. No questions. Okay. Okay, class. Now, uh, here we have more instructions. More instructions. Give me a second. Okay. Adjectives come before the nouns. They describe. I told you, right? Long street. So first we have the adjective, right? Long. And after long, we have street. That is the noun, right? So long is the adjective. And street is the noun, right? Adjective and noun, right? First, then the adjective and then the noun. Tie shoes, you know, zapatos apretados. Tie shoes. Notice that the noun could be singular or plural. Tie shoes. A red and black tie. Ah, two adjectives. Look, red and black tie. It's possible, right? Adjectives don't change. For example, a clean office, singular, right? Clean offices. You don't say clean offices, like in Spanish, right? Oficinas limpias. No, no. In English, the adjective don't, don't, doesn't change, right? Adjectives don't change. And we can put some intensifiers before the adjective. For example, I can say, the window is long. But when I say the window is very long, you know? La ventana es grande. No, no, es larga, sorry, es larga. Uh, but when I say very long, I say muy larga, right? It's a very long shirt. Another intensifier is so. For example, I can say the window is so long. It's a, it's, uh, it's a, a very long window, right? In this case, or oh, it's so long. The window is so long. Those are possibilities to use intensifier, right? Okay. And the last thing, the last explanation. Look. Clean offices. And incorrect, right? Clean offices. A window long. No. Clean offices. No. Clean offices. That is the correct. Window long. No. A long window, right? So those are the characteristics of the adjectives class. The description of adjective, what is an adjective, example of adjective, the position of adjectives, the characteristics, the categories of the adjectives, etc., etc., etc. Also, if you want, I can send a video to the group, to the WhatsApp group, to describe, right, uh, what is an adjective. So, any question? No question. No question? Okay, very good. Let me see. Now, talking about the WhatsApp group, did you did you receive the song today? The name of the song is Holding Back the Years. From Simple Red. It's an English group, right? 
Do you receive the song in the WhatsApp group? Holding back the years. Okay, it's a good song. You can practice. Practice the song, please. Okay, let's continue, right? Okay. Let me see. Okay, here we have nine sentences. Look. Related to adjective, right? Okay, good. So what are you going to do? You are going to work in groups and 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 give the solution for this sentence, right? But before I will take the attendance, right? Uh, Ana Maria, sure. yes, yes. You have, uh, puedo hacer una pregunta? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Eh, cuando estamos tratando de comunicarnos con otra persona, bueno, en este caso una persona que habla inglés, eh, mm -hmm. aunque pongamos en diferente orden las palabras o pronunciemos, pongamos una S de más o algo, ¿cree que ellos nos puedan entender? Porque vaya, nos, yo estudié en una escuela internacional y los muchachos eh, que asistían a la universidad eran algunos de Belice, manejaban el español, pero... Eh, de otra manera y sí estaban equivocados pero nosotros los entendíamos entonces por ejemplo alguien decía la problema esa que y empezaba a decir algo nos daba risa pero entendíamos que quería decir que el problema es para empezar a, a, a explicar algo entonces será que sucede lo mismo en inglés o cuesta más eso no, no, uh, you can have some example of people speaking English, right? Uh, I will explain something basic, uh, Marlon. Uh, the verb, for example, in, in, in Spanish, we have what we call the, the verb conjugation, right? La conjugación del verbo. For example, I say, uh, yo como, tú comes, él come, nosotros Comemos, right? Comemos. Okay. But in English, you say, I eat. You eat. He eats. We eat. So the verb doesn't change. El verbo no cambia en inglés, right? A lo más le agregamos una S, pero sigue siendo el mismo verbo. En cambio, que en español lo conjugamos. Con, their conjugation, right? Como, comemos, comeré, comimos, etc. But when you hear someone from United States, Marlon, speaking Spanish, eh, listen, they say like this, right? Yo cuando ir al Salvador, yo comer pupusas en El Salvador. Ayer yo comer pupusas. Mañana yo comer. Y todos nosotros comer. Y mi amigo comer. Ok, no pasan de ese su comer. No, no, no conjugan el verbo, ¿sí? Pero usted entiende, si un gringo le dice, perdón, una persona de Estados Unidos o de Inglaterra o de Australia o de Belice o de Jamaica, ok, eh, le dice, yo ayer comer pupusas, yo ayer comer, en lugar de decir yo ayer comí, comer, usted le entiende, ¿verdad, Marlon? Yes. Sí, sí, entonces lo mismo sucede con otros idiomas. El que habla alemán, el que habla italiano, el que habla portugués, quiere comunicarse en otro idioma eh, y trata de, de hablar en el mismo idioma, pues sí, sí, sí se entiende. Vaya, eh, en el caso de ustedes, que son del nivel básico, podrían cometer errores así, ¿verdad? No, no, no es una burla ni nada, sino que es la realidad. Puedo poner, eh, do you like, do you like music? ¿Te gusta la música? Yes. Yes, I am, podemos decir, ¿verdad? Yes, I am, en lugar de decir yes, I do, podemos decir yes, I am. Pero ellos no van a entender, aunque nosotros digamos yes, I am. ¿Sí? Porque, por la lógica. Uh, además de eso, aprovecho para decirles que por eso es que cuando uno ve películas en, de muñequitos, en el, en el caso de ustedes, que son básicos uno, eh, uno entiende lo que están diciendo, pero uno lo entiende por, 
por la lógica. Por ejemplo, si están en un parque, si están en un árbol, si están comiendo, si están manejando, y ellos hablan de eso, entonces uno entiende, ah, va manejando, entonces drives. Está en el parque, the park. Está comiendo, eating. Bueno, entonces uno relaciona, ¿no? Eh, por cuestión de lógica. En inglés y en español, la palabra que se utiliza es semántica. ¿Sí? Semántica. Semantic, right? Y, sí, y so, solo termino con esta explicación. Perdón, Mario, disculpe. Eh, y nosotros en español, primero ponemos el adjetivo, ¿verdad? Y después el nombre. Perdón, eh, eh, perdón, el nombre y después el adjetivo, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés es lo contrario. Pero si usted dice, como en español, el, el carro rojo, y usted dice, the car red, the car red, le van a entender, hermano. Aunque usted lo está diciendo al revés, ¿verdad? Otro ejemplo que le voy a pen, poner para terminar es Yoda. Usted dio la guerra de las galaxias, había un personaje de orejón verde, se llamaba Yoda que él hablaba al revés, pero se le entendía. Yo con mis amigos ir mañana al lugar, entonces al revés hablaba, pero se le entendía. Entonces, cuando usted quiere hablar con alguien, Marlon, que habla inglés, usted trate de expresarse como pueda y sin miedo. Ya va a ver que le van a entender, ¿ok? Good. Now, Mario, please tell me. Ok, Marlon. Es lo, lo que le llaman, este, he escuchado, pero no sé si es realidad, sí, si es el famoso common sense que le llaman. The common ¿Es sense true? is correct. ¿Sí? The logic, the logic. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes, is, it, right. is it true? Yes, yeah, correct, yes. It happens in the languages too, right? Pasa con los lenguajes. Por lógica uno va entendiendo eso, right? Yes. Y es lo mismo que sucede también con el lenguaje de señas. Aquí hablan el... Ya, yeah, entonces uno entiende por lógica. ¿no? Ok. <laughs> you see, the same happened in English and in Spanish, right? Good. Now let's go to the class. Now, make a screenshot, please. Capture the pantalla, please. Screenshot. Picture number one. Ready? Picture number two. Screenshot, please. Okay, ready? Very good. Thank you, Mario. Bueno, en lo que Mario nos manda la segunda, el segundo dibujo, eh, quiero felicitar a la mayoría. Ya terminó la, la, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Para mañana tenemos que terminarla toditos, ¿verdad? Así es que a algunos solo le falta el examen final, a otros le falta algunas otras cosas. Eh, solo voy a mencionar los alumnos que todavía faltan que completen. Mañana lo vamos a hacer. Eh, Cristian, Jorge, Carolina, eh, Daisy. Gracias. Ok, <ríe> yeah, yeah, nice. Thank you, Daisy. Ajá, solo estoy mencionando los que tienen que terminar la plataforma, Daisy. Eh, okay. en, entiendo que ya tiene acceso, ¿verdad, Daisy? Porque ya me terminó la sí, unidad 1, sí, sí. Okay. Bueno, entonces para mañana, no solo usted, ¿verdad? Sino que todos vamos a completar la, la plataforma. Okay. Marlon, eh, maybe, Otmar, ¿verdad? Esos son los alumnos que nos faltarían para completar la, la plataforma para el día de mañana. Please. Sí, yo ya terminé la plataforma, solo me falta el examen. Ajá. Uh -huh. Correct. Yes, Omar. Yes, I know. Teacher. Pero ¿Lo puede hacer ahora o mañana? A Marlon, ya le digo lo que le falta, Marlon. Le falta... La última unidad me falta. Le faltan uh, las últimas dos unidades. 
Ah, no, ah, bueno, sí, son... no, 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 solo una unidad, es cierto. La, la unidad cuatro y el examen final, pero mañana lo hacemos, bueno, tranquilo. Necesito contratar un doble para salir con una ocupación. <risa> I know, I know. <risa> you, and you need more energy, right? You need more energy. Ok, let's continue, right? Uh, I will pass the attend, I will take the attendance, give me a second. Ok, Jorge estará de oyente. Muy bien, Jorge. Permítame, vamos a ponerlo aquí. Jorge Alberto, ok, good. Bueno, voy a, hoy sí voy a pasar la asistencia. De attendance, please, pay attention. Number one, please. Ana María, ya le tomó la asistencia. Brian. Claudia, ya le tomó la asistencia. Cristian también. Ok, está de oyente, ¿verdad? Yeah. Están de oyente, muy bien. Eh, Daisy. Present. Good, thank you. Dagoberto. Mr. Monteagudo. Glenda. Present. Thank you. Griselda. Present. Thank you. Eh, Josué. Present. Thank you, Josué. Eh, eh, Carolina y Marcela están de oyente. Vamos a ver. Eh, Mario, Mario Ernesto. Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you, Mario. Mario. Mario creo que dijo que le fallaba Eso, el teacher. internet. Ahí a veces ya, le Mario, pasa. Ya. Gracias, Marlon. Ok, thank you, Mario. Ojalá ya no le falle, Mario. Eh, Marlon. Present teacher. Thank you. Here maybe, I am. maybe. Present. Maybe va a estar participando, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, sí, yes. Ok, Present. thank you. <laughs> thank you, maybe. Ok, eh, Osmar, ya le puse asistencia también. Saúl, también ya le puse asistencia. Saúl va a estar de oyente. Yancy. Present teacher. Thank you. Qué poquitos activos tenemos. Bueno, los que puedan participar también, aunque estén de oyentes, participen, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a hacer solo dos grupos. Ok, let me see. Ok, group number one. Griselda, Josué, Mario, Marlon, and Yancy. Group number two. Eh, Daisy, Glenda, Ernesto, and Maybe. Los demás están de oyente, ¿verdad? Ok, ready? Here we go. Ana María, Carolina, please, nos unimos al grupo, please. Hello, Claudia, lo, lo voy a asignar al grupo dos. Ahorita la asignamos al grupo 2. Hola, hola. Claudia, al grupo 2, group number 2, please. Démele aceptar ahí, Claudia. Ok.
Ahorita, vamos a ver. Pero vamos a ver. Hagamos las cinco. ¿Quién tiene la No sé por qué. No. Es que estoy con teléfono y es un poco más complicado. Chatear, escenar. ¿La ven? ¿La ven ahorita? ¿Ya la compartí otra vez? Ah, no. Salió la otra, no era esa. Perdón. No puedo, ya, solo esa. <ríe> Empecemos a trabajar con esa. <ríe> Vaya, ¿listo? Bueno, las dos a mí no me... Ah, ya le di dejar de compartir para. Ahí está. ¿Me ¿Estás viendo? Sí, pero yo veo tu imagen, no veo la, la, la pantalla. Ahí la acabo de mandar ahorita. No sé cómo subirla. Tal vez el teacher nos ayuda. Le voy a dar compartir, vamos a ver, foto, fotos, screenshot, ahí está. Ahí está, pero ahí está, cabal. Ah, ahí está la uno. Ahí ok, démosle. Bueno. Make eh, the screenshot, eh. Mario, make the screenshot, Mario. Yes, I do, teacher. Please. I do, teacher. Ok, good. Ok, eh, number uh, one. Les voy a dejar para que compartan ustedes, porque me voy a ir al otro grupo, ¿ya? Yes. Ok. La número uno creo que es Day... Daylight. Daylight Blue Shoes. Pero, ¿qué pasó con la imagen? Se fue. Daylight. Day like. Again, 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 again. Daylight Blue Shoes. Make the screenshot. Mario, make the screenshot. I, I, I did, teacher. Ah, ok, pero good. Like. Ah, ah, pero, pero tengo Blue que irme shoes. al otro grupo, Marlon, tengo que irme al otro grupo y entonces ahí se, se borra la... Ah, bueno, ok. Yes, ¿ya le hicieron el screenshot? Ya, teacher. Ya yes. Lo... Okay, good, good, yes. Good. Ahí pueden compartir ya, ya, ya los dejo. Ok. Ok. Lo que queremos. Veamos la segunda. Solo sería Blue Choice o, y lo demás que se va. ¿Qué sería Daylight? No sé si se pone todo completo. Uh -huh. <coughs> Porque si lo pone todo completo. Teacher, tenemos uh -huh. una duda. Number one. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, look. First, Teacher, para mí the number, no, first number. is the noun. They. Ajá. Uh -huh. Then the verb like. They like. They like blue shoes. Blue, blue shoes, shoes, correct. Ay, es ordenar, entonces no Orden. es. Ajá, ordenarlo, pero así con el adjetivo, ¿verdad? Yes. Lo que nos Excellent. Ah, okay. Okay. Do it, do it. Va. <coughs> agüita, agüita o té. Agüita o té, please. <laughs> Ay, quedó poco hablar, por eso es que no he estado participando. <laughs> agüita, maybe, agüita ahí, agüita. Gracias. <laughs> Entonces, la, la no, number two, the worker. Oh, okay. mm. <coughs> the worker <coughs> needs, no sé. Ah, no, 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 The workers need white shield, no sé. Don. Sí, compañero, no va bien ahí. ¿Sería así? Sí. sí. va? Sí. Sería, the worker. Ajá. The worker need. Don't need. Need, need, así no, va. No, ajá, don't, don't need. No need, sería. Don't need, ajá, don't need. Don't need. Eh... Don't need why. Pero ahí, pues, si me pasan estos animales a la otra cosa. Serían why sure at the company. Jorge, ¿será así? 
¿Cómo, perdón? Eh, eh, why, 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 why she eh, at, at the company. Sí. Uh -huh. Es la más difícil, la otra está más fácil. Sí. Why she at the company. The company. El number three sería sería or sería va un or or close or close or close uh -huh. uh -huh. or close no, está ar, que ver. Sí, va. <coughs> Or close. Jorge. Jorge. Está Jorge ahí. Nuestra. Hoy. Number three, or close. ¿Dónde dejamos el R? Dry. 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 Porque ahora es como nosotros, nuestra va. Uh -huh. ¿Esta qué? Esta ropa. Or clothes. Uh -huh, clothes. Dirty yard? No sé. Ahí, ahí estoy. Dirty clothes. Bueno, pues. En esta hay duda, pa. Sí. Or close is correct. Or close is correct. Or closes are are right. Teacher, se puede decir así. A veces estaba bien como la como se hizo la primera vez. Sorry, perdón, se me había olvidado explicarles que con el verbo to be cambiamos el orden. Sorry. Entonces podría ser. Or close. Closes. Or closes are dry. Are dirty. Ardirty. Ardirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Ah, pues sí estaba bien en la primera. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Me voy a ir a otro grupo para explicarles esto, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok. Ok. Number four. A ver. They are very nice. They are, yes. They are. B very nice one. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Si tenía razón, Jorge, estaba más fácil la última. Vamos a ver el nombre. Le falta la, la segunda, la otra. Pero... No, sí. Son nueve. Son nueve, cabal. Sí, son nueve. Estamos bien servidos, ma. <risa> Number five. Sería. Sí, sería. This product. Aren't cheap. Hola, hola. Are, are... You are finished. You finish? Hello, did you finish? Griselda, did you finish? finish. Okay, good. Uh, can you tell me the number seven, please? The number seven. Griselda, tell me the number seven, please. I want to be sure that you have the correct, the correct sentence, please.
Griselda, do you copy? Okay, uh, Jancy, hello Jancy. Hello teacher. Uh, number seven, please. Ah, sería there. Their clothes are no. Uh huh. Uh huh. Their clothes are clean. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Okay. Very good. <laughs> you you finish? Yes. Okay. Very okay. good. Nos vamos a ir al salón principal entonces. Solo déjeme ver cómo están los del grupo dos. Okay. Okay. Será así. <laughs> Ya me, ya me perdí. ¿Their clothes are clean? La no siete. Si es correcto. Sí, la siete. ¿Será they correcto? Yo le digo más lógica, sí, pero. ¿Cómo le puso? ¿Their uh, clothes are clean? Their, uh, así le digo. Ok. Their, yo le puse, ¿Their clothes are clean? Y la otra <coughs> oh. sería or la otra va mm -hmm. or. or employees or employees need or employers need no, or employees need va uh -huh. need Need, choice, choice, uh -huh. or choose, choose, algo okay, así. New, sí, sería <coughs> para mí, no sé. Or employees need shows new, or new, or, or, or employees, or new shows, no sé, new shows sería, quizá va. No, new shows need. <coughs> No, pero es que... Uh, need new shows shows. Se ve como, que, como que va al final. Ajá, así, la, así lo pondría yo. Ajá, need now, mm. nuevo. Mm. Need shows. shows. Ajá. ¿Qué dicen los demás compañeros? Ya, no están. Claudia is there, right? Hello, Claudia is there? Uh -huh. Jorge, Otmar. No hay nadie. Brenda, right? Daisy, Cristian. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Sí, aquí estoy. Hoy sí ya pude arreglar lo del micrófono. Ok. Pero ya vi que era. Este. <risa> Yo terminé por eh, accidente. En el 8, en el 8 dice... acuérdese en lo que dijo el teacher, de que cuando lleva el or, es por el verbo to be y cambia el orden. Este uh -huh. es igual que el 4, ¿se acuerdan? <coughs> es igual que el número 3. Es igual que el número 3. Sería, our employees need new, new shoes. shoes. New shoes, ajá. Correct. Es correct. Sí. New shoes. El 9, el 9, luego lo difficult. Teacher, ¿cómo puedo re regresar a mi sala original? Que no sé cómo me salí por error y... Terminé aquí. <risa> anda, 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 anda copiando. Anda, anda por el grupo. No, de... copia, copia. No, 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 apoyar vale. vino, apoyar, apoyar. No, no. Solo hicimos. ¿Eh? Solo por eso. Solo por eso ahorita le voy a mandar a. Anda espiando, anda a la... espiando. A Dagoberto le voy a enviar ahorita, ya van a ver. Con, el, con escuela no se metió. El tío. No, el tío ya me envió, no sé qué pasó. <risa> I'm sorry because I, I didn't remember. Es que me apareció ahí, pero no sabía en qué grupo estaba, mano. Así que yo lo envié aquí. Ustedes síganle. <risa> ya terminamos, ya terminamos, ¿ok? La, la última, no. This, this, no shirt, this shirt, this shirt is very in a small type. No, this shirt in a small. 
is small. This shirt is small. Is, small. is very small. Is very is in small. No. Oh, this, okay, no equivocamos entonces. This shirt in a small. In a small is is very tight. Excellent. It's very tight. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Nos vamos entonces. Okay. The camera, Yancy, you can do it. <laughs> okay. O pongan no, cinco... cierto, es que me sacó la aplicación y no podía ingresar, profe. Entonces, por eso estaba así, que no había que hacer. O ponga... me sacó también, teacher. O mire, o mire ponga sí, un globito. Y andaban varios espiando. Ajá. <laughs> Sorry. O ponga Sorry. un globito. No. Yancy, ponga... No. Yancy, ponga un globito, Hola. así como, así como maybe, ponga un globito atrás para que. Ay, no. <risa> no, no sé qué fue lo que pasó, lo así siento. Te... Le da pena salir. Ok. Good. Now, ready? Here we go. Ok, number one, please. Group number one. Help me, please. They like blue shoes. They like blue shoes. <laughs> Clean. Yes. They like blue shoes. Okie dokie, group number two, please. Incluyendo los espías. Group number two. The workers <laughs> don't need. The workers don't need. Why shirt at the company? Why shirt at the company? Perfect. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Very good. Okay. Grupo número tres. ¿Dónde estaba Marlon? Ah, no, no. Se solo eran dos. Okay. Group number no, one. Yes. Room estaba. Sure. <laughs> yes, Mario. Número dos. Le hace falta shirts. The workers don't need white shirts. Oh, yes. Sorry. Pero voy a tener que hacerlo sí, otra sí. vez. Sorry, excuse me. Also, also. Thank you, Mario, for the observation. Thank you, Mario. Mario for the observation, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, now. The workers don't need uh, white shirts. Shirts, right? At the company. Okay, let me see. The workers don't need white shirts at the come. Okay, perfect. Right, group number one, please. Three. The clothes are dirty. The clothes? All clothes are dirty. Ah, our clothes. Very good. Our clothes are dirty. Good. Number four, please. Group number one. Ah, oh, no. Group number two, excuse me. They are very nice. The teacher is very nice. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. They are very nice. Good. Repeat after me, please. They like blue shoes. The workers don't need white shirts at the company. Our clothes are dirty. They are very nice. Okay. Now let's continue. Okay, group number one, please. These products are cheap. These products are aren't right? 
Thank you very much, Grisel, uh, Griselda. Good. And group number one. Group number two, please. It's, it's so expensive. Expensive. It's so expensive. Group number one again. Their clothes are clean. Their clothes are clean. Their clothes are clean, right? Okay, good. Group number two. Or employees need needs choice. I was saying. Need new new choice shoes. New shoes. New shoes, right? Thank you. And to finish group number one, please. This is the most difficult. Yeah. Please. The shirt in a small. This shirt in a small. Is very tight. Is very tight. Very socada, right? It is correct. Very tight. This shirt in a small is very tight. Correct. Yes, no? yes ah. correct. Yes, perfect. Thank you, Mario. Okay. Now repeat after me, please. These products aren't cheap. It's so expensive. Their clothes are clean. Or employees need new shoes. This shirt in a small is very tight. Okay, class. We finish with the adjective, right? Any extra question? No, no questions. No questions. Okay, good. Now we're going to practice. No questions. Okay, thank you. We're going to practice with some materials. Extra material, right? Okay, Claudia, welcome. La trata mal el internet a Claudia, sorry. Okay, now. Let's describe these places, right? What's a barber shop? A barber shop is a place where you Get a haircut. A barber shop is a place where you get a haircut. So that's letter D. D. Letter D. What's a grocery store? It's a place where you buy food. Buy food? Let it be, right? You can buy food. Good. What's a laundromat? It's a place where you hey. wash and dry clothes, right? Wash and dry clothes. A library. What's a library? Leather jeans. Yeah. It's a place where you borrow books. Borrow books. Es un lugar donde prestan libros, right? Okay. The sensation now is the vinyl, right? In San Salvador. You can buy. You can borrow. Pedir prestados libros. Se pueden pedir prestados. Solo que usted se tarda un día, le cobran un dólar. <laughs> okay. Yes. Good. Now. Stationary store. What's a stationary store? Letter? 
Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Make okay. reservations okay. to buy cars and paper. No, make reservations. No, it's for right. No, it's ah, buy no. cars. cars and buy cars and paper. And paper. Let us see, right? Uh, what's a theater? What's a theater? It's a place where you eat. Eat. Eat, right? you see movie or play. Good. Now, what's a travel agency? Letter? Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, yeah, right? Letter F. Good. Now let's practice, please. Let's practice. Uh, some of you are going to make the question and so the other are going to give the definition, right? The definition. So let's start with uh, Claudia. Hola. You make the question to... To Daisy. Number one. What's a barber shop? Daisy, what's a barber shop? Dagoberto? Help me, please. Mr. Monteagudo? Hola, Leo, yo, igual. No, wait, wait, it's, no, no. It's a place where you get a haircut. Excellent, Dagoberto, thank you, right? Good. Number two, grocery store. Uh, is going to help me, Glenda, please. And Griselda, you make the answer. What's a grocery store? Grocery? What's a grocery store? It's a place where you buy food. Uh-huh, where you buy food. Thank you. Now, uh, let me see. Uh, yes. Josue, please. Josue, number three. And Ernesto, the answer, please. Number three. Number three. What's a laundromat? Uh, it's a place where you wash and dry clothes. Very good. Mario, please. Number four. And Jancy, the answer, please. Mario and Jancy. Number four. What is a library? It's a place where you borrow a book. Excellent. Also, Yancy. Okay, now, Claudia and Daisy, right? De Daisy? Que creo que Daisy se salió. Let me see. Hello, Daisy? No, no, no está Daisy. Okay, maybe, please. Maybe no, no participa todavía. Okay, so, uh, Claudia, you make the question number five. And, and, and maybe the answer, please. What is stationary store? Stationary? Stationary store. store. Maybe? What is stationary store? Uh -huh. Ajá. <laughs> Letter C, right? It's a place where you maybe it's a place where you. I perdón, yo pensé que lo iba a hacer aquí. Oh yeah, it's a place where you buy cars and paper and paper. Good. It's a place where you buy cars and paper, right? Okay, thank you, maybe. Thank you, Claudia. 
Now let's go to the next one. Uh, Dagoberto, you make the question and Glenda the answer. Number six. What's a theater? It's a play where you see movie or play. Okay, you see a movie or play, right? Or play. Like, Romeo, Romeo, where are you that I don't see you? Right, it's a play. Now, please, Griselda, you make the question number seven. And Josue is going to answer, please. Griselda and Josue. Theater. No, number seven, a travel agency. What's a? What's a travel agency? Ah, uh -huh, Josué. It's a place where you make reservation for time. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, for a trip, reservation for a trip. Good. Now, everybody, repeat after me. Please repeat after me. What's a barbershop? It's a place where you get a haircut. What's a grocery store? It's a place where you buy food. What's a laundromat? It's a place where you wash and dry clothes. What's a library? It's a place where you borrow books. What's a stationary store? Stationary store? What's a stationary store? It's a place where you buy cars and paper. Six, what's a theater? It's a place where you see a movie or play. What's a travel agency? It's a place where you make reservations for trip, right? Good. Now, at random, please. What's a drugstore? What's a drugstore, class? Volunteers, what's a drugstore? You can, it's a place where you can buy some medicines. Okay. It's a place where you can buy medicine. What's a, what's a, what is a pupuseria? Hmm? Pupusas, I like it. What's a pupuseria? Place where you eat pupusas. It's a place where you eat pupusas. Yes, very good, right? Excellent. Also, I like it, right? Now, let's go to the next part. Good. Let's practice. Let's practice this conversation. Listen, please. Listen to the audio. Unit 8. What's your neighborhood like? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. 
Listen and practice. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? A barber shop? For the peludo, right? Good. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Okay, good, sorry, excuse me. Now, uh, well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, very good. Now listen to the audio and repeat. Ready? Repeat, please. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you.
By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, very good, right? Now, I don't know if you have any questions about vocabulary, pronunciation, meaning. Any question? You know what is grocery store, laundromat? No right? question. No question? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to practice. But now, uh, I will do something different. I will ask one student and the student will choose other student, right? Uh, let's start with Claudia, please. Ready, Claudia? Are you ready, Claudia? Hola, hola, hola. Yes, okay, good. Now, you choose the student, right? Claudia, usted va a escoger a su compañero o compañera. Ay, escojo a la víctima. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the candidates are Jancy, Mario, Ernesto, Glenda, Griselda, Josué. Mm, hay algunos que no están, dijo, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. ok, I repeat the names, Claudia. Aquí eh, estamos todos. Glenda, Griselda. No están todos, ah, Jorge. pero no. Jorge. No, 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 no. Jorge me dijo que estaba oyente, pero hoy lo voy a incluir, ok. Jorge. No, ahorita <ríe> ya estoy participando, jefe. Jefe, jefe. <ríe> Jefe. Okay. Vaya, Jorge, pues. Ok, Jorge. Now, uh, Claudia, your Mrs. Oday, Mrs. Day, okay. and, and Jorge Jack. Ok, bueno, one, bueno. two, three, action. Excuse me. I am your new neighbor, Jack. And you moving? Oh, yes. I am looking for the grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pin Street. Oh, good. And are there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barbershop in the shopping center too. A barbershop? Okie dokie, thank you. Okay, Dudley, please, claps. Yeah, babies. But this is a trap, teacher. What? Why? Why? Why George is the doesn't need a barbershop. Oh, for the barber, yes. For the beer, I mean, right? Dudley dice que aquí sí, ¿verdad, Jorge? Yes. It is necessary. It's necessary, yes. Okay. Don't worry, Jorge. You're very attractive, boy. Don't worry. Nice. Okay. And Mario, you need one for the mustache, right? For the mustache. Okay. And I, I will show you. I will show you that I I have a mustache too. Can you see my mustache? Okay, look at the teacher. Yeah, okay. <laughs> a mustache. Okay, let's continue, right? It's too elegant, teacher. Oh, thank you. Very elegant, yes. Look. You, you <laughs> need a hat? I need a hat. Okay, yes. Very good. So let's continue, right? Uh, I need two more volunteers. But we're going to listen the conversation. Again, listen. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Good. 
Now, uh, Dagoberto, please. You are Jack Dagoberto and you choose Mrs. Day, please. You choose the victim, like Claudia said, right? Dago, Dago, 10-4, 10-4, do you copy? Ok, ok. Mario. Mario, ok, thank you. Mario. Mario, your Mrs. O Mrs. Day, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I'm, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Payne Street. Oh, good. And is there a, a laundromat, laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Very nice, congratulations, right? Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, let's continue, right? Uh, who's next? Who's next? Let me see, Glenda. Glenda, you choose the, the other student, please. Who, who, Glenda? The candidates are Griselda, Ernesto, Marlon, uh, maybe, Ernesto. Ernesto, Mr. <laughs> okay, really. Mr. Melgar, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. Yo era Jack o, o Ernesto? You're Jack. No, no, you're Mrs. Day, Mrs. Day. Ernesto is Jack. Okay. okay. Excuse me, and your new neighbor, Jack, I just moving? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some on Pink Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, at is, at is there on cross from the shopping center. Thank you. With a buy. There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, I have some problem with my microphone, right? Eh, tenía algunos problemas con el micrófono, eh, pero me escucharon. Me escuchan aquí. One, two, three. Sí. Sí, qué raro, sí. porque hasta arriba lo tengo. ¿eh? Yeah, sí. well, es un buen micrófono, entonces. <laughs> Ok, good. Eh, vali valieron la pena los 17 dólares que pagué. Yes. <risa> <risa> yes. No, no, es una buena opción, ¿verdad? Esto aísla todo el ruido donde estoy. Si, practice. Si el perrito ladra y todo, ya esto lo aísla. No, no se oye el perrito, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Now, um, we're going to listen again the, the conversation. Listen and pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Unit 8. Neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, notice that it says Pine Street, right? Pine Street. Laundromat. Laundromat. By the way, by the way, right? Okay, now let's go to the next couple. I'm going to have I'm going to have a Griselda Okay, Griselda, you tell me. The candidates are Mario, maybe. Only that, right? 
Mario may be, Griselda. Um, Mario or, or, or maybe. You tell me. You tell me, Griselda. Who? Who is the victim? I mean, who is the student? Um, let's see. <laughs> Come on. Maybe. maybe. Okay. Thank you, maybe. Are you ready? Ready. Le permite la toja ahí, si no, pues me se detiene. Okay. Now. Sí. Griselda, you're Jack, and, and maybe you are Mrs. Day, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. Excuse me, I, I am your neighbor, Jack, and just moving. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are so many on pink string. Oh, good. Is there a laundromat near here? Will Dick, there is a one cross for day shopping center. Thank you. Did they why? There is barbershop and the shopping center too. A barbershop? A barbershop? Like say, a pupuseria for what? Of course, mm -hmm. a pupusa, right? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, now, let's go and practice the location. Listen. Good. There is. There is, right? And here we have some prepositions too, right? Now, listen to the audio, please. Page 51, exercise 3, grammar focus. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Good, class. So this is the use of there is, there are, you know, in questions. And in affirmative, is there a laundromat near here? Oh, yes, there is, right? There's one across from the shopping center. When I say one, I'm making a substitution for the laundromat. Because you can say there is one laund a laundromat across from the shopping. Excuse me, excuse me. There is one. You can say there is a laundromat across from the shopping center. Too. I mean, so one is the substitution for a laundromat, right? Good. Or oh, you can say, no, there isn't, right? But there is one next to the library. Again, one is substitution for the laundromat. Now, are there any grocery stores around here? Plural, right? Yes, there are. There are some. The word some, right, is to describe as some no a number you can say three grocery store four grocery store five grocery store so we say some nice stores on pine street right or when you use negative no there aren't any around here any is the substitution for grocery stores you can say eh, no hay ningunas por aquí right good and now let's go to the prepositions on you know surface Superficie, right? Next to, a la par de, next to, near or close to means cerca de, across from, opposite or in front of, right? Means enfrente de, right? In back of or behind, behind, atrás, right? Behind. And between, that means en medio de, between. And finally, on the corner of, en esquina de, right? 
Okay? Now, again, listen. Page 51, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near Close to Across from Opposite In front of In back of Behind Between On the corner of Good, that's it, right? Any question? Okay, now here come here it comes the most difficult part. So pay attention, class. Look. Aha, uh -huh, there is a map, right? There is a map. Look, and there are some places here. A bank, a department store, an electronic store, a gas station, a grocery store, a gym. A hotel, a payphone, you know, payphone, a post office, and restaurant, right? Okay, class. Now, let's analyze these places. And we're going to use the prepositions on, next to, behind, look, uh, near, close, across from, opposite, in front of. In back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Let's go to the example, right? Is there a bank around here? A bank. Oh, yes. Right? Now, the, in this case, we have many, but many options. You can say, for example, right? Uh, there is a bank. Sorry, we'll make it smaller, right? Lo vamos a hacer más pequeñito, sorry. Yes. There is a bank next to the Prince's grocery store. Or there is a bank next to the payphone. Or there is a bank behind the King Plaza Hotel. Or there is a bank on Pine Street. Or on, on the corner of Pine and First Avenue, right? Sure. Corner of First Avenue and Pine Street. Good. Those are the options, but there are many options, right, Mario? Yes. Uh, is necessary when I use between mention the two places. Is absolutely necessary. For example, you can say uh, there is a post office between the gas station and Joy's gym, right? There is a there is a a, a drugstore between Mom's and Pop's grocery and Top Shoes, right? So between is absolutely necessary. You mentioned, okay? Good. Now I will make the question and you tell me, right? Number one, a department store. Is there a department store around here, class? Can you move this? Thank you. Yes, okay. Look at the map, please. And we're looking for a department store, right? Like Siman, like Prisma, like Sanborns, like Saras. Yes, there is. Okay, there is. where? 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 Uh, on there Main is. Street. Okay, say, there is a department store 
There is a department store. There is a, a Oday's department store. There is a department store, uh huh. Where? Uh, next to the Joe's gym. Next to Joe's gym, right? Very good. Oh, you can say, Mario? Uh, on, it's, on, it's Main on, Street? Main Street, on Main yes. Street. On it's next to, no, behind Parker's Drug Store. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, next, next one, right? Next one. Where is an electronic store? Electronic store. Electronic store? Yes, yes there is uh -huh. one. Where? Where? Where is it? Be, be, it's behind the post office. There is one behind the post office. Good. There is one behind the post office. Good. On now, First Avenue. One. On First Avenue, yes. Electronic store. What is, no, no, excuse me. Gas station, excuse me. Gas station is the, what is a gas station? We need the coffee now, right? Ya necesitamos el café. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, what is the gas station, class? Participation, come on. Maybe Griselda, eh, Jorge, please, come on. Yes. We were... There is on the corner of... First Avenue and Main Street. Yes, very good. There is one gas station on the corner of First and Main Street or behind the First National Bank, right? Or next to the public library. The gas station is next to the public library. Okay, good. And now, uh, grocery store. Excuse me, there is a grocery store around here. The answer is? Yes, there is one uh, mom and pops grocery. There is one uh, mom and uh -huh, pops. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I grocery. know. But, 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 but you say first, in front of the park. Uh huh. It's in front of the park. Or between the on the park and the Parker's drug store. Next to. Next to. Money? Next to the yeah. Parker Draft Store. Okay, Next to the park. Uh huh, but there is another Prince Grocery Store. Prince Grocery Store is on Pine Street next to the First National behind the King Plaza Hotel. Behind, ah, yes. the, behind the King Plaza Hotel next to the First National Bank on Pine Street. Uh, Mom and Pop Grocery is on Second Avenue and Pine Street too. Pine Street too, yes. Good, thank you, Mario. Thank you. I was lost. Good. So, and it's in front of the park, right? So we have two grocery stores. Good. Let me see one more. Let me check something. Quiero ver si tenemos un listening. No, hasta ahí llegamos. Oh, yes, hay un listening, yes. Bueno, terminamos con una más y después nos vamos a listening, porque ya casi no acaba la clase. Ok, eh, hotel. Is there a hotel around here? Yes, there are one. Yes, there is one. There is okay. one, oh, sorry. Eh, uh, on Elm Street, King Plaza Hotel. Is on Elm Street. Okay. What Antibes else? Hotel two. Uh huh. Next to the Frank's Cafe. Next to the Frank's Cafe. Correct, right? Next to the Frank's Cafe. Correct. Nice. Correct. Cling. And the last one, a restaurant. What is the restaurant? Excuse me. Is there a restaurant around here? Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Please, please help me. Uh -huh. A restaurant, please. Okay, good. There is, there is one, one on Plaza on Hotel. Maple Avenue. There is one across from the Kim Plaza Hotel, right? Across from, or you can say opposite, or you can say in front of the Plaza Hotel, right? On Maple Avenue, next to Frank's Cafe. Or you can say on the corner of, no, no, no está en la esquina, ¿verdad? On F2, teacher. Next no, 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 no. I guess eh, it's. No, no, no sé. Eh, eh, es... el, el Rosas Café es tan grande que sí, verdad. Creo que está la parte de Jameson Hotel. Yes, yes, you're right. You're yes. right. Yes. So Rosas Restaurant is next to James Jameson Hotel, right? Okay. O Bellim. Uh, Frank Coffee. No, next to the Franz Cafe. Yes, it's true, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now we're going to go to an, a listening exercise. Pay attention, please. Okay, listen. Page 52, exercise 6. Listening. What are you looking for? Remember, we're going to use preposition like next to, behind, in front of, on, etc., etc. Pay attention. Part A. Listen to hotel guests ask about places to visit. Complete the chart. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. We need some directions. Sure. What are you looking for? Well, first of all, we're looking for the Hard Rock Cafe. How far is it from here? Oh, it's just a few minutes from here, right across from the National Bank. The National Bank on Park Avenue? Yes, that's the one. Is the Hard Rock Cafe a nice place? Well, I think so. The food is good, and there are some interesting things to look at in the restaurant, like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And where is the Science Museum? Well, that's near City Hall. Near City Hall, okay. I know where that is. And what's the museum like? Actually, it's not very good. It's small, and there isn't a lot to see there. It's really for young kids. Oh, then maybe we won't go there. Hmm. One last question. Is there an aquarium in the city? Yes, there's a very good one. It's only about six blocks from here. It's in the park, next to the train station. Oh, next to the train station. Yes, definitely visit the aquarium. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay. So this is a uh, two situation, right? Number one, the location of the Hard Rock Cafe, the Science Museum, and the aquarium. And it's an interesting place, yes or no? Again, second time, please pay attention. Let's start with the Hard Rock Cafe. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. We need some directions. Sure. What are you looking for? Well, first of all, we're looking for the Hard Rock Cafe. How far is it from here? Oh, it's just a few minutes from here, right across from the National Bank. Uh-huh. Across from? From a bank? The National Bank. Uh, it's across from the National Bank. Good. It's across... From the National Bank. Okay. The National Bank on Park Avenue? Yes, that's the one. Is the Hard Rock Cafe a nice place? Well, I think so. The food is good, and there are some interesting things to look at in the restaurant. Like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And where is the science? Okay, wait. So is an interesting place? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. 
Yes. yes. Like the Cuscatlan part, right? Nice. Okay, good. Now let's go to the Science Museum. Science Museum. Listen. Museum. Well, that's near City Hall. Near City Hall. Okay. I know where that is. And what's the museum like? Actually, it's not very good. It's... Again, the there are some interesting things to look at in the restaurant, like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And where is the Science Museum? Well, that's near City Hall. Near, near City Hall. Okay. I know where that is. And what's the museum like? Actually, it's not very good. It's small, and there isn't a lot to see there. It's really for young kids. Oh, oh then maybe we won't go there. Mm. Okay, so what is the location of the Science Museum class? Near, near City, City Hall. Hall. It's near City Hall, correct. It's near City Hall, la, alc la alcaldía, right? City Hall. Okay, and it's an interesting place. No, because no, it's right? small. It's a small, so the answer is no. Okay, let's listen to the city, to the aquarium. Mm. One last question. Is there an aquarium in the city? Yes, there's a very good one. It's only about six blocks from here. It's in the park, next to the train station. Oh, next to the train station. Yes, definitely visit the aquarium. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have a good day. Again, please. Good. It's small, and there isn't a lot to see there. It's really for young kids. Oh, then maybe we won't go there. Mm. Okay, ready? Aquarium. One last question. Is there an aquarium in the city? Yes, there's a very good one. It's only about six blocks from here. It's in the park next to the train station. Oh, oh next to the train station. Uh huh. What is the aquarium? It's next in to the, the train park. station. Next to it's station. next to the train station. Only that? Okay, is it a nice place, yes or no? Yes. 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 Okie dokie. Now, any question? Good. Now I have a message. It says, oh, yes, it's true. It's true, yeah. Uh, Claudia, look, that's the reason of my coffee. Hmm? It's necessary at this time. <laughs> okay. We need energy, right, Claudia? Okay. But uh, I don't know if you have any question, class? Questions? No. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can stay with maybe. No sé si puedo quedarme esta noche con maybe los 10 minutos. Maybe? Yes, okay, thank yes. you very much. Good. I stay with maybe, and for the rest of the class, ladies and gentlemen, do let's say goodbye. Goodbye, have a good night. See you goodbye. tomorrow. Goodbye. Good night, mañana, teacher. Mañana good hacemos night. el examen, yes? Good night, bye -bye. Good night, bye -bye. Bye. See you, good night. Goodbye. Have a good night. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Goodbye, Jancy. Goodbye, Griselda, Ana Maria, Carolina. Bye bye. Okay, maybe. Ready? English or Spanish? <laughs> English. Right? English, vamos a ver. <laughs> ah, okay. Is there any topic? Hay algún tema? Is there any topic that you don't understand? Hay algún tema? De la... Sí. ¿Cuál, cuál eh, me costó bastante? Si usted ve, usted me, me, me mencionó que me falta todavía hacer lo de lo de, lo de la plataforma. De la plataforma. 
¿Quiere ah, hacer la plataforma de la, entonces? De las 12. Sí, sí, sí lo hacemos. Sí, sí. Va. Ok, sí, veamos sí, entonces. Sí. Plataforma, ladies and gentlemen, compartiendo. Ok. Eh. Me, voy a, me voy a meter yo. Ok, good. ¿Qué, qué unidad era, maybe? Es la, es la que estamos viendo ahorita, la 4, pero la de cuatro. la 12. Okay, la vamos. vamos a la ver. de igual creo que es. Vaya, usted me ha terminado, pero usted ya la terminó, maybe, solo que tiene... Es el... que no la contesté, es que no, no la contesté, el... o sea, intenté y ya después ya no la toqué, solo le di enviar por error. Pero tiene, tiene 100, en la unidad 4, tiene 100. Ah, pues espérame, voy a ver 10. cuál es. Tra tal vez en la unidad 3, en la unidad 3. Ajá. Pero... Busquemos una por una, yo, yo le voy a ayudar aquí también. Vaya, la, la 11. No, la 11 está fácil. La 12, tal vez. La maybe. 12, ajá, esa es. Esa es, vaya. Sí, esa, esa es. Maybe esta es una cuestión de lógica, ¿verdad? Eh, usted tiene que irlas ordenando. Y el tema es preguntas de información. Cuando decimos preguntas de información o, o de WH, maybe usted lo primero que tiene que hacer es buscar la palabra que lleva la WH. En la 1, por ejemplo, ¿cuál es la palabra? Uh, yeah. Where. Where, muy bien. Entonces copiamos con mayúscula, mire. Where. Okay. Luego el segundo elemento es el auxiliar. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar aquí? Yo. No, ese es el sujeto. Tú. Do. Do, do, do. Where do. Ahora el sujeto. Yo. You. 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 Where do you. A, uh, ahora do el you. verbo. Uh, school. Ah, no, no, school es un do. nombre. El verbo. Go to. Go to. Go to school, right? Mm -hmm. Where do you go to school? Entonces, tiene que buscar los cuatro elementos, maybe. Primero, okay. el WH word, right? La palabra que indique dónde, cuándo, por qué, de qué forma. ¿eh? Después el auxiliar, do o das. En este caso es do porque el sujeto es you. Entonces, uh -huh. Do. Ok. Do you. Sí, y es que en esa clase de... creo que no, no, no estuve, por eso es que la, me, me confundí. Está fácil, mire, vamos a darle enviar. Ah, tará, me lo aceptó, mire. Uh -huh. Hágalo usted ahorita, quiero ver. Tiene ahí la plataforma. <ríe> si puede, si no, no, no se preocupe. Ahí. Where do you go to school, right? Where do you go to school? Uh -huh. Ahí. Muy bien. No, no me puedo meter ahorita. Fíjese. Ah, vaya, pero, pero ya vio cómo está la estructura, ¿verdad? Sí, ya, vaya. ya, ya más o menos me entendí. Vaya, hágame la Ay, dos. Yo necesitaba como ver un ejemplo. Hágame la dos usted. Vamos a ver aquí. Yo le voy a ir copiando. Vaya. Vaya, sería what do you y ahí hay porque hay dos veces tú. Ah, buena pregunta. El do se usa como auxiliar y a veces como verbo principal. Como auxiliar no significa nada, pero como verbo significa hacer. ¿Qué haces? ¿O ¿A qué te dedicas? ¿no? Entonces sería, what do you? Do. Do. Va, le voy a dar a enviar y vamos a ver si nos sale bien. Ok. Ah, salió no. algo malo, permita. What do you do? What do you do? Es que hay un espacio de más aquí, perdón. Qué oso. Ah. Sorry, perdón que hasta, hasta los teachers nos equivocamos. Ok. <risa> Vaya. Ok, ya la tiene. Hágame la tres y ahí lo dejamos. ¿Le parece? Sí. Where does Y ahí sería come o form. No, va el sujeto. El sujeto, maybe no se lo olvide. El sujeto. ¿Sí? ¿Quién es el sujeto? 
no lo veo. <ríe> Ah, ahí está el sujeto. Pero, por, no. boom, cam. Ay, No deje el sujeto, la acción. John. John, correct, John. <ríe> John. <ríe> Este es el dueño del Papa Jones. Ok. ¿Recuerdas, John? Ahora el verbo. El verbo comer, ¿verdad? Es com. No, no, no. Venir. No. Venir, venir, Ah, es el come. venir. For. Ah, From, no, perdón. from, from. Eh, no me sale el símbolo de pregunta, pero ahí está. Necesitamos miel y limón, Maggie. Sí. Sí, lo siento. Ok, veamos si está bueno. ¡Tarán! Sí, Hoy está sí. bueno. Bye. Hoy sí, ya entendí. Hoy sí Sí. entiendo. Pues la cuatro y la cinco la hace usted solita, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, mañana la voy a hacer. Vaya, pues maybe. Muy, muy, Miren muy bien. el examen que va a ser mañana, va a ser escrito Ah, fácil. o... No, no. Ahí en la plataforma. Ahí está el examen. Ah. Sí, ya lo hicieron Ah. varios, mire. Eh, Claudia ya lo hizo Ana María, ya lo hizo Dagobert. Uh, sí, un montón que lo han hecho. Está fácil. Pero por, Ajá, por, por eh, como dijéramos, por formalidad lo vamos a hacer juntos en la clase, ¿sí? bye. Ah, okay, Muy parece bien. bien. Eh, Okay. y le tengo algunas preguntas, maybe. Eh, los videos que yo envío al grupo de WhatsApp, usted los está viendo. Solo por tiempo libre, no los he terminado de ver todos. El de ahora Digamos era una cuando canción. El de ahora era una canción. No sé si sí, la escuchó. ahí no, Hold no le puedo escuchar. it. Holding back the years. Ah, buena canción de los. Sí, y hablando de canción, eh, maybe quiero decirle que, bueno, yo personalmente aprendí. Con, con música. Sí, la mayoría me dice con música se aprende. Bueno, sí. Sí. Ok. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué canción en inglés le llama la atención? No, no sé si el, al menos se puede la tonada de alguna canción. Y bueno, la día de él. Adel, sí. Buena, buena. Hello. Está Hello. Ajá. Está eh, Someone Like You. Sí. Me gustó la hello. Le gusta la Hello, yes. Sí. Someone Like You. ¿Cuál es la otra que es conocida? Uh, uh, no me acuerdo cómo, pero son, son, son varias. Muy bien. Entonces, lo que usted tiene que hacer es, oh, en YouTube ahí está todo, o en Spotify, ¿verdad? Y ahí pone Sí. la letra. Entonces, mi consejo, maybe, es que se aprenda una canción semanal. Semana, Bien, okay. una canción semanal. Y que vea una película de muñequitos. En inglés, nada No se de español. puede decir miedo así de inglés. No, solo en inglés, solo en inglés, ¿verdad? Ese es mi consejo para Okay. que practique. Y, ¿verdad? Cuídese mucho de esa tos, hay que tomar mielita, Sí. oiga. Gracias. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta, maybe. Por ahorita estamos bien. Ya, Bye. ya me saqué la duda de eso. De eso. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ok, Good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. God bless you. Bye bye.